what do you see as the role of deep tech lab originated startups uh, in this whole research uh, endeavor? Yeah. Um, I can offer perspective. I'm not done as startups by choice. Um, the, okay. it's not, uh, I've had students who have gone on, done their own thing, but I have not been involved in them because uh, personally. But I've thought a lot about this in my role as an as the vice provost, I don't think it's as alien an idea as people try to make it out to be. As new idea as it, as people make make it out to be, right? Okay. You go back to Louis Pasteur, and he was trying to solve society's problem. He was not trying to do research, right? Uh, think about G.I. Taylor in kind of my field, right? And he was interested in very practical problems, trying to help society answer, uh, uh, solve very practical problems, essentially, uh, often uh, in the context of the world wars. And uh, so I don't think it's a new idea. It's an inherent part of our mission, right? Growing human knowledge, which is what research is, leads to new opportunities for society. And using your knowledge to create new opportunities for society, new technologies for society is inherent. Archimedes was trying to solve a certain problem, right? So I don't think it's that much of a new idea. So it is an inherent part of what we do. It's essential. I think when there were these large corporate research organizations, they fulfilled the role, but they no longer exist they've been replaced by startups. So I, what I'm trying to get at, it, it's not such a new idea in okay. my mind, right? Uh, in the context of Caltech, if Von Karman was trying to build, uh, help airline companies build planes, right? I mean, uh, uh, and uh, Arnold Beckman was helping the orange local orange growers check the... Uh, acidity of the oranges, right? I mean, so it's not a new idea. Now, that's number one. So it's very much inherent part of our mission. I think there's a misconception on the part of most universities that this is a revenue stream. And I think that's a very, both a dangerous and a false promise. Okay. In the long run, that is true. Not in the short run. Sure. So what do I mean by that? Mm. You are making very, very, very risky bets. Some of them will pay off. A vast majority of them won't. Mm -hmm. And you don't know when they'll pay off. And you are, I can tell you universities are terrible at guessing which one will pay off and which one will not. And I can tell you about Caltech, I can tell you at Stanford, I can tell you at MIT, right? I mean, the numbers are very similar. Uh, tens of thousands of patents. A small fraction of them ever get licensed. An even small fraction of them actually return even the cost of licensing. And then three make you most of the money, right? So, and you have, and if somebody tells you that they're going to bet that they are going to be successful at that, at guessing which these three are. Uh, uh, they just, uh, yeah. So, and universities are uniquely bad at doing something like this because there are other pressures which kind of interfere. But there is a very good reason for universities to do that. Um, it's part of our mission. Mm. It's part of our mission. Having an impact on society is part of our mission. So it's very important that we do that. Second, it's very important for researchers to do, to do that as a community, as a whole. Why? Because this is what engages them in issues which confront society day to day. Right? When you do a startup, and, okay, so you have an idea of how it can impact a particular technology, but when you do it, 
And when you really start thinking about market analysis and economics, which is what, as researchers, we don't often do. We have very distorted views of what economics is, uh, what an economic potential is. When you really start thinking about that, you really begin to understand what value propositions are. And that's very important, I think. It inspires new problems, new ways of thinking. So I think it's a very important thing. Third, it's inspirational for students. Yes. Uh, you're inspiring a group of students to, to take risk in their life, do something which is risky but rewarding. I think there's real value in that. So even though I believe that most universities kid themselves when they think that this is going to be a revenue stream, I think there is inherent value in universities in doing that for the... Uh, partly because it should be part of their mission and more importantly because it is important for both the faculty and the students.